Number 10 we usually see a fast bowler breaking the stumps. But in 2017, a spin bowler broke the stump with his spin bowling. In that year's Bangladesh Premier League, Afghan spin sensation Rashid Khan clean balled the CTG batsman. But Rashid's spin bowling broke the middle stump into two pieces. Everyone was shocked. It is infrequent for a spin bowler to break the stump like this. Rashid showed his power as a rare spinner who broke the stumps. Number 9 Deadly Bouncer by a Spin Bowler It is sporadic in cricket for a spin bowler bowling a bouncer. If thrown, it will not be a deadly bouncer at head height. But the young Afghan spin bowler Kes Ahmad once bowled a deadly bouncer to Andre Russell, batting without a helmet in the Abu Dhabi T10 League. Suddenly faced a bouncer and leaned back to avoid it. Wicketkeeper holds this ball with his hands above his head. So you can understand how deadly a bouncer it is. Russell is fortunate to leave this ball. Otherwise, the ball would have hit him directly on the head. Number 8. Sehwag kicks ball over boundary line in 2010. In a test match between India and South Africa, Sehwag kicked a ball over the boundary line hit by Amla. The South African team has already lost 9 wickets. Amla, batting on 122 runs in the fifth ball of the 130th over balled by Sachin Tendulkar, tries to take a single and plays the ball gently. But the ball went almost to the boundary line. Sehwag chased it down but thought if the ball got a boundary, Amla's strike would not change and he kicked the ball over the boundary. Then the umpire noticed Sehwag had fielded against the rules and awarded five penalty runs to the South African team. Because of Sehwag's funny activity, that ball got six runs. Number 7 and Javed Miyadad told the umpire, I will Javed go Miyadad inside calls tails and let you know after winning the tail it is. It's his unfaced attitude that gets us each Javed, time. you've won the toss, what are you going to do? I don't know, I'll just go inside and I'll let you know. Number 6 Once during a one-day match between India and Pakistan, Inzamamul Haq drilled the ball towards mid-off and tried for a run. But the fielder quickly picked up the ball and threw it towards the stumps. But Inzamamul Haq blocked the ball with the bat. Immediately Indian fielders appealed for obstructing the field and the umpire declared him out. But after the match, Inzamamul Haq was interviewed about this incident and he said he did not understand this rule. He said that these rules are very confusing. I was the first one for Pakistan to obstruct the field and get out. You become the second Pakistani, so congratulations. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't understand the rule because in Faisalabad, we left the ball and I'm out and now start the ball is I'm out. I don't know what's the exact rule. I don't know why. I can't understand the rule. Number 5 Usually, when a batter hits a 6, we often see the ball striking someone in the crowd. Sometimes the ball hits the vehicles outside the ground. But a Sri Lankan batsman's sixer struck a boy walking on the road regardless of the match. In a test match against Australia, Dinesh Chandimal, who was on a good swing, slogged a full-length ball from start. Then the ball bounced on the road outside the stadium and struck a boy walking there. But luckily, the ball bounced and he was not injured hardly. His friend next to him asked another friend to take the ball and go. But his friend said we did not do it, so he threw the ball back into the stadium, a sporadic incident. And let us know in the comment section below what you would do if you were in this situation. Number 4. A strange act by Pakistan's star batsman Babar Azam resulted in a penalty of 5 runs on his team. According to cricket rules, Fielders other than the wicketkeeper in the fielding team should not wear gloves. Doing so would be illegal fielding. But Babar Azam violated this rule in an ODI against West Indies. In that match, the Pakistan wicketkeeper dropped a glove near the stumps and went for the ball. Babar, who was fielding in slips, jokingly took the glove and wore it. Moreover, he caught the ball thrown by the wicketkeeper. The umpire immediately imposed a five-run penalty on the Pakistan team and added those five runs to the West Indies scorecard. Anyway, at the time Babar Azam did this, 
the Pakistan team was in a winning position, so these penalty runs did not affect the result of this match. Number 3. The average bowling speed of a spin bowler in cricket is around 90 km per hour. But Pakistan's spin all-rounder Shahid Afridi once plugged the ball at 134 km per hour. And this record was established in 80-20 match between Pakistan and New Zealand. Afridi surprised everyone by reaching the speed of a regular pace bowler like Ghubi in his spin bowling. And so far, this is the fastest delivery by a spinner in international cricket. Tim Southey, who did not expect such an unexpected ball, was clean balled by Afridi's record-breaking ball. Number 2. Umpire cover drive in 2017. In a test match between India and Australia, Hazelwood balled a bouncer to Pujara, where he played a hook shot and gave a catch to the keeper. Then the umpire raised his finger, saying that Pujara was out. But no one from the fielding team appealed to the umpire. Hence he immediately placed his hand on his cap and covered himself as he scratched something. That ball did not hit the bat. The umpire thought he was struck the ball and was about to give out. But he covered at the end as no one appealed. According to the umpire's law, when the batsman is out, the umpire raises his finger only if the bowling team appeals. Otherwise, the umpire won't give up. But if the batsman goes to the pavilion alone, there is no need to appeal. The batsman is considered as out. And we witness this when the batsman is bald or clear cock. Number 1 Russell Magic Run Out You might never witness a run out like this in cricket. In the Bangladesh Premier League, Minister Dhaka batsman Andre Russell drilled the ball towards the gully and went for a single. But the fielder acquired the ball and tried for a run out at the striker's end. However, that batsman had already reached his crease. But the ball that struck the stumps at the striker's end rebounded like magic and smashed the stumps at the non-striker's end. Russell was slowly proceeding to the crease after drilling the ball had unexpectedly got run out. This run out is very rare in cricket.